control of my daughter. Go. Go get daddy. Uh-oh. Who's in trouble? You know my business. Hey everybody, so I'm killing a few birds with lots of stones today. Not really, just hypothetically. And I did a tutorial on this eye makeup. I also did a tutorial, a slash first impressions of the Laura Mercier foundation. This is the Silk Cream Moisturizing Photo Edition foundation. It totally wins me out. So that is what's on my face. So now this one is going to be a little bit more of a demo with the Makeup by Bobbi Joy Cosmetics joysticks. And if you haven't seen my review on these, I'll link it down below. And if you haven't seen my tutorial with like a mini demo with these, then I will link both of those down below. But I wanted to do a little bit more of like an in-depth talking to you thing. So if you did watch my review, you already know that I am obsessed with these two. I really do use them on a daily basis. Um, it looks great in photos. It looks amazing in person. They don't cake on. They don't feel heavy or anything like that. Um, but I am going to start off with Sweet Butter, which is the lightest shade. And what I do is I just highlight down the bridge of my nose. You don't need to put a ton of product, but you know, like paint it on because I am a firm believer in starting off small and working your way up. If you put too much on, we all know it is very hard to take away. So, start off small, work your way up. Going to put this on my cheekbones. You really only need one swipe. I don't know why I've been getting into the rhythm of like doing two. You don't really need it. Just do a little bit right here. Okay. And then I'm gonna grab my damp sponge. Oh my god, my chin looks so white. I hate it when I put too much highlight on my chin. Looks like I have a beard. I like doing blending out my highlight first and then blending out my contour. Um, just personal preference. Okay, so you can tell it's a very subtle highlight, but I look a little ridiculous just being highlighted. So I'm going to turn my hair around, around. I'm going to go in with Tawny, which is the darkest shade. And definitely be careful with this guy because if you put too much, it's hard to take away. So very lightly, I just like to go just down. Just a little bit. Just around my hairline. Like I am barely touching my face and this just just like going on. Okay. And then with contouring, I like to imagine a line. You can already kind of see that. I don't want to take it that low, but I go from the top of my ear to the corner of my mouth without excessing, excessing, without exceeding at the corner of my eye. So I want to stop right there. Let's be bold today, guys. Um, I mean, you can kind of draw a line if you want. I don't really do that. However, I go do little mini triangles just on the sides of my chin. Like little devil horns. See, those are like devil horns. That's what I do is it's just gonna kind of shape my chin. I'm gonna find this Morphe brush that likes to just grow legs and walk away from me every fucking five seconds. What do you know, a makeup brush was in a makeup belt. I'm gonna start with my chin, just start by blending that out a little bit. It's very subtle, but it just kinda shapes my chin a little bit. And then I'm gonna go down the nose. I love this brush. It is perfect for blending out cream products. Contour especially, because you can just tell that it just, it diffuses it, like, perfect. 
gonna blend out around my forehead to my hairline. I'm gonna write down which one this is below because I got this one a long time ago before it was cool enough to put a name on it. But Morphe has put the name on it and put the label on it. So check that out. I like this brush too because it really finds the, the hollow of your cheek. Stop it. Mom's recording a video. Yes. And then whatever I have left on my brush, I just go along my chin. I don't like drawing it on because if I forget to blend it out, I have this giant line on my chin. So I just grab whatever I have left on my brush. All right, so this is just a little, um, a little extra in this video, but I recently just purchased these Smashbox LA Lights blend up for the blendable lip and cheek color. And this is in Hollywood and Highlight. <laughs> so funny. Okay, I'm just gonna put this, so what I do is I put it, oh, look like a crackhead. This almost acts as a base for whatever color I'm gonna put on top. And I'm gonna use, um, I got these little like samples for Makeup Forever and these are the new artist uh, plexiglass lip, uh, lip glasses. And I'm going to be using 100P right here. Especially with an eye like this, you don't want to go too crazy on the lip. But since this is like a smoky eye, you could even go, you could go in with any of these colors. But today, oh. still look like a crackhead. All right, that didn't work out the way I wanted it to. Let's go in with 304. Mm. Look at that color payoff. That's so, so much better. Bada bing, bada boom, baby. And I am going to set everything with the Mist and Fix number two. Anyways, so that is the end of my demo. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out all the other videos that are coming. I have no idea which one's coming first, which one's coming last, which one's coming in between. So don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, comment, do whatever you want, but I'd love to have you as a friend and as a subscriber. So thanks again guys for watching and I'll see you later. Goodbye. Now I'm calling.